Froggy Goes to School by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Remkiewicz, read aloud by the teacher's husband. It was the first day of school. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. The sun was high in the sky. Oh no, the bus, the bus, he cried. I'll miss the bus. He hopped out of bed and flopped outside. Flop, flop, flop. The school bus was leaving. Wait, wait, he yelled and took a mighty hop. The bus hissed to a stop and the door folded open. Froggy flopped up the steps. Flop, flop, flop. But when he reached the top, everybody laughed and pointed their fingers. Froggy! yelled his friend Max. What? Did you forget something? Froggy looked down. Oops. He was in his underwear. He dashed to the back of the bus and hid behind Max's umbrella all the way to school. At school, he hopped behind the bushes. He tried to hide behind the flagpole. He rolled down the hall like a bowling ball. And in class, he pretended to be a flower pot. Froggy, called his teacher. What? But it wasn't his teacher at all. It was his father. Froggy rubbed his eyes. He had been dreaming. He was still in bed. Rise and shine, Froggy, said his father. It's the first day of school. This time Froggy got up all dressed. Zip, zoom, zup, zut, 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 zap. Then he flopped into the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. He tried to pour the milk on his bowl of flies, but the carton flew out of his hands. You're just nervous about school, Froggy, said his mother. Everybody is the first day. Not me, cried Froggy. And together they leapfrogged all the way to the bus stop. Flop, flop, flop. At school, Froggy found his name tag on his table. He liked his name. It was the first word he knew how to read. It was the only word he knew how to read. Froggy! He read it aloud, louder and louder. Froggy! cried his teacher, Miss Witherspoon. What? Hush, dear. It's time to pay attention. But it was too hard to pay attention. He squirmed. He looked out the window at the falling leaves. He felt like a leaf. Falling. Falling. Plop. He fell out of his chair. Oops. Kindly stay in your seat, dear, said Miss Witherspoon. We'll sit on the floor at circle time. At circle time, Miss Witherspoon said, Now, children, today I'd like you to tell us what you did last summer. Who wants to go first? Froggy shouted, Me, 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 me. And so did Max. Miss Witherspoon went, Clap, 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 clap. And everybody went, Clap, 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 clap with her. Then they grew very quiet. Now one at a time, said Miss Witherspoon. When Froggy's turn came, he jumped up and said, Last summer I learned how to swim. And he sang, Bubble, bubble, toot, toot, chicken, airplane, soldier. Everybody jumped up and joined in. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot, chicken, airplane, soldier. When, uh-oh, in walked the principal, Mr. Mugwort. Bubble, bubble, oops, cried Froggy. Looking more red in the face than green, Mr. Mugwort glared at him. Then he joined in. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot, chicken, airplane, soldier. 
till the bell rang for recess. When Froggy flopped off the bus after school, his father said, Froggy, how was your first day of school? Great, said Froggy. I taught the principal how to swim. Hmm, that's nice, said his mother. But where's your lunchbox and baseball cap? Oops, I left them at school. Oh, Froggy, will you ever learn, said his mother. That's why I'm going to school, Mom. And together they leapfrogged. All the way home, flop, flop, flop.